something else I wanted to talk about real quick is it's light. I don't know the exact weight, but this is one hand. Um, not an issue at all holding it up in the air. So. What's going on, my people? 2024 and a whole new season. I'm going to be keeping this season going as long as I possibly can. I've got so many different things going on and so many different boat projects that I cannot wait to bring you videos on. If there's something that you're looking to do or need help with a project, I implore you to reach out. Facebook or Instagram, I will respond. This year, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff with the kids. We're going to be doing a lot of boat projects with the kids, but we're also going to be traveling with the boat. We're going to be playing with the new high field. We're going to be exploring all new sorts of places, but at the end of it all, we're going to be doing what we do best, which is the projects. So, boat drinks for everyone, and cheers to you and the water. What's going on guys? All right, so unfortunately I am leaving to head to Florida and I'm gonna have minimal time to do the videos that I really wanted to do this week um, for you, which was gonna be getting my windows sealed up. I also wanna, I got a video on that. I also wanted to bring you a video on my favorite items that have been on the boat this year. Um, and then uh, there's, there's a bunch of other stuff. We still have some time left in the season, but I'm leaving and I am super busy. So I'm taking uh, like 10, 15 minutes out to show you this. All right, so uh, if you guys remember last year at the boat show, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I met the owner of Further Customs and I was super impressed, not only with the product lineup and the durability of the stuff that I was, from what I could see, but it's price points. So we wound up getting the Avalon dock Highly recommend that. It was actually neat this year using it and then taking my dinghy around and seeing all the people um, in the area, whether it been people that told me they saw it from me or from the boat show that had it. Everyone loved it. Flawless item. Really made a difference for the Catalina 30 just because of the, the sheer amount of space that it, it gave to the boat. Just tapping this every now and again, guys. So um, I, I may want to try his dinghy. I think it looks awesome. Um, that might be something I'll bring you next year. I do have the high field and I'm just trying to maintain the space, but the catamaran idea is, is just pretty cool, especially with some of the shallow little inlets that we have on the Hudson that would be cool to explore, not worrying about bottoming out because it's more like a river raft. But he, uh, or Further Customs, just released these Avalon deck chairs. I believe that's what they're called. So I haven't opened this. This box is sealed. I just got it. I figured we could open it together, people. So I will say, uh, if you're using a knife, be very careful. I am just skimming the tape uh, and I'm staying up with the lip, which I would recommend. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull the box up while I cut so I don't cut anything down inside of this bad boy. Packaging on this box um, is awesome. And again, if you're gonna use a knife, lift up just tap it until you pop it all right let's see here tap you again and i am sorry to be doing this from the house i feel bad guys so inside we have the two chairs they're individually wrapped from what i can tell that's it look at that all right so we got one two chairs again the patch kit that comes with this um two patches inside there and the valve wrench that's one thing I will say that this company further does not skimp out on is the gear. What is this? Oh, neat. Um, so this is like a, a backpack for the chairs. Very cool. Some more straps, I'm assuming, to tie the chairs up. We can explore that in a minute. And another one of their fabulous pumps. Um, I'm not going to open this today. I'm going to keep this one sealed. I'm going to actually grab the electric and inflate them and I'll show you that once they're inflated but for the price man uh, this kit is $2.99 and for what it comes with so far I'm thoroughly impressed so let's open up one of these chairs and see what it looks like and again I am I'm believing that these are either straps to hold the chair down or to, to wrap it up but again we can uh, we can see what that is in a second in fact, is there any instructions in here yes there is something further customs what is this inflatable manual my knees are bad guys so i'm having a little trouble doing all this but uh yeah this just tells you how to inflate and deflate with the pump so not for the chairs but i'm going to open this up 
Again, their stuff's always wrapped up. So nice. All right, so here's the chair. And I'm assuming it goes like that. But I'm going to go ahead and get a pump here in a second. We'll inflate it on the valve here. It tells you your PSI, so this is a 10 PSI chair. And yes, I am assuming that what I saw there before, oh cool, a little pocket on the back. Very cool. I'm assuming that this strap connects to, I just saw it, there's a D-ring right here on the back. So I'm guessing you would take this little bridle, clip it here, yep. And then you can tie the chairs down so you don't got to worry about them blowing off the boat. Oh, that would be terrible. Let me go get a pump, inflate this, and we'll take a look at it. So unfortunately, my further pump is on the boat. But I have a little generic one here that I have calibrated, and it's good. And I will say this again. Guys, this Renergy battery, I use for everything. Um, I just got one for work, too. This thing is the most valuable thing I have on my boat. And we'll go through that in a later um, video here. But for now, we'll use the generic pump that I have. Again, I leave all the further stuff on the boat. That way I know I have quality uh, pumps or whatever I need sitting there. So here we go. I'm gonna take this and make sure the valve is out. Again, it's just a standard valve. And if you're not careful with these, when you take it apart, it will let all the air out. So I'm going to stop the video and then restart it, and we'll see how long this chair takes to inflate. All right, so I'm going to set my pressure. I'm going to bring it down to I'm going to do nine at first. That's way I know I'm safe. But I'm going to pause the um, not pause. I'm going to mute this so we don't have to listen to this. But here we go. The two of them. All right, so this is both of them set up. Um, I will say they're pretty damn cool, man. We get, it's comfy. We get um, a little storage in front. I would bet you could fit a cocktail into each of the, well, definitely one of them. This one will hold a beer, I think, or you can put whatever you want in there. And let's see, let's see how, how it looks. I have a pretty, cool. oh, what's nice. I got a pretty cool idea. For what I'm gonna do with this bad boy. Uh, I do like the angle. If you can see the angle here. It's uh it's awesome. Feels pretty damn rigid, a little bit of rock, which is nice. I do like the D-rings on here. So, like I was saying before, what I'll probably do is we get a bunch of these that sorry people. There's a bunch that came with this. So we got one two, three, and four. I'm assuming that these, oh, I should probably put this back in while we're at it. I'm assuming that we should probably come in like this, um, or, and go to one, or you can come off the back two, um, and then use this as a single point, or you could come off and use this one on this side, and that one on that side, and you do get four of these, so that gives you enough room. Um, in a second, I want to show you what I'm thinking might be a really cool use for these bad boys is on my other boat. So I'm going to go put it on there and see what it looks like, but I think this is going to be awesome for the, the center console. Um, there's not a lot of seating on there, and I could put one of these right up front so when I'm fishing, I'm good to go. Let's go look see how that thing sits on there. So this was one of my thoughts on the Carolina Skiff, this thing will fit perfect right up here. And like I was saying, we're gonna use the D-rings and um, these little clamps to go ahead and lock it down. So let me go do that real quick and uh, see how it looks when she's locked down. But this is, this is total game changer right here, people. Well, all right. So I'm using the two straps around the stanchions over there. I will say if I was gonna be moving forward or actually out motoring, I would run one to this stanchion from there. So we had more of a forward and backward protection. Um, but this is perfect for the skiff. 
Now I have two of these chairs. I'm probably going to keep both on the Catalina. But when I'm using this boat, I'm definitely going to keep one underneath here in the anchor locker. So I have some place to sit when I'm, uh, when I'm fishing or just, you know, relaxing. I think these are going to be clutch on the Catalina. Um, because... I mean, we could put them up front and watch sunsets or fish or watch the kids or just relax and not be sitting on that, you know, fiberglass. So let me sit down and see how I feel. Is it natural? <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, what it would be like sitting on it on the skiff. I think this would be perfect. Um, again, there's no seats on this thing. So this is a game changer. I know I use that word a lot, people. But it's true this is gonna be a game changer for the skiff but i cannot wait to get this on the sailboat unfortunately i was really hoping to show you these on the sailboat but like i said i am leaving here and um you know 48 hours and i'm gonna be stuck down south with this new hurricane for i don't even know how long <sighs> the life of a storm response guy sailboat skydiving and storm response the three s's something else i wanted to talk about real quick is it's light i don't know the exact weight but this is one hand um, not an issue at all holding it up in the air. So something anyone can manage from a child to, you know, you as an adult. And while I'm outside, I also want to show you the, uh, the rub rail and the points where it'll touch. Um, if you are familiar with any, you know, like, um, dinghy, this would be like the rub rail that's on the bottom that it keeps you protected. And it's the same material as some of the inflatables. So very cool. They thought of everything, you know, at least we know we're protected. All right, let's bring her inside and get it wrapped up and see how it folds up. Guys, I so apologize for having to film this inside. It's uh, is not my M.O. And I, I feel bad. I know some of the stuff during the winter we do. Ooh, she's slowly falling. But, um, yeah, I try not to. I want you guys to see the boats and how things look on there. Thank goodness I have that Carolina skiff sitting there for me outside. All right, quickly, I'm just going to go ahead and deflate these. You just push it in. And now squeeze them out. Roll up the top. I don't know if that's how we're supposed to do it, but that's what we do. We figure things out together, people. So I'm going to do the bottom. I'm going to turn it around that way. That one's pretty deflated. I'd be happy with it. So, we'll leave this one here. Actually, what do I do? I'm going to put that under. Fold it that way. Fold it right back like this on top of itself. And we're golden with this one. Okay, we'll do the next one. And this one now. Again, just going to pop it. Push that under. Now, if you have the electric pump, which I highly recommend, let me tap this so I can see if we're even looking at me. You can just hook up the valve on the electric pump and uh, hit it to deflate and it'll suck it, all the air out of it, and you're golden. All right, happy with that. Now, let's see. I like the idea of bringing this up this over just like this yeah I like that so now I guess in theory we could take these straps again place one on the floor bring it up and around and then we've got one done that makes that nice and neat so when I bring it back it's one place this one flat on the floor and how do I work this one? Like that, like that. Ooh, that's even a better way guys. Um, yeah, I kind of like how I have this one set up a little better. Ooh, oh no. Look what I did. This goes this way, up and down, around, pull toit. Loosen this side a little bit. Never getting them back to factory. That's just how things go. So, I like how I did that one better. See if I can't figure this one out. I can. 
this, like this. And up. Oh, the hell did I do that one? There we go. Okay, perfect. One strap. Again, this is the first time I've ever done this, guys. So you're watching as I'm learning here. All right, so we got both of those wrapped up. I can probably make this a little tighter. And it's twisted. I don't like that. Hold on, I don't want to lose the shape. Hold on here. Like that. Now we can actually pull it nice and taut. And I wouldn't go too uh, tight with these. This is a little bit of rubber right there. So no big deal. Now, for the, uh, see that's cool. So it unwraps, unzips all the way. And there are ties inside of the bag. One tie. So I'm gonna take the first one, place it in the bag. All the way over to the side. Now I will say, maybe pull your tie out of the bag so you can see what you're doing. Ooh, it's a nice foam cushion on the bottom. I like that. So I'm actually gonna bring it down. Nice. Well thought out. Kudos to Further for that. Second one, same thing. Now I'll take my strap for that out. Where'd it go? Where'd I put it out? Didn't I take it out, people? No, here it is. Let's loosen that. The other side. Clippy clippy. Nice. Now if I wanted to, I'd put my pump in here. Um, again, I'm not going to. You know what? Hold on. We're gonna put the pump in. We're gonna put everything in here. Because if you don't have all the stuff like I do, you'd have to. So I'm gonna put my patch kit right there and my pump right here. And now we have everything in. Oh, our straps. Our straps. That's for that. Put the straps on the side, and voila, our seats are now in this bag. Now, if you're not interested in the bag taking up space, this is a little big, but if you didn't want this bag on the boat, you could just leave these individually underneath a settee or something like that, and you'd be good to go. Um, but I like, I like the idea of the bag, it's pretty cool. Oh, getting a call. You're right back, people. Sorry about that call, folks. Hurricane stuff. Anyway, um, I, like I was saying before, if you wanted to, these are tiny. These are real tiny. They'd fit right underneath one of your stays or up under a lazarette, on, uh, especially on a Catalina 30. So I don't know if I'm gonna actually use the bag. But if you did want to use the bag, say you're going to the beach, I think that's a great idea for the beach. These would be great beach chairs, right? Throw everything in here, zip it up, good to go. As you can see, it all fits in like awesome and I think that's that's what this will be for for me it would be um, when I go do the beach I could fit my electric pump in there with my Renergy battery so yeah I mean kudos to you guys at further you did a great job I love the bag now that I'm thinking about it for the beach but I will say on the boat I'm not going to be using the bag I'm just going to keep each individual chair uh, probably indoors um, to the left of my starboard side uh, water tank under that settee but cool, any questions, comments, or concerns, by all means hit me up, and I will have these out on the boat as soon as I can. I know the season's coming to an end, but we still have a lot ton to do. I'm hoping I'll be back in the next couple weeks. I will get a video for you next week, even though I'll be gone. I'm gonna try to figure out what to film for you Saturday, but I'm trying, guys, I'm trying. Anyway, cheers. Um, I will see if I can't find a link. Well, I definitely will find a link from where I got these. Um, it's on Further Customs. I'll put it in the comments below, and enjoy, guys. Peace.